And welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Last time we... Wow, he's still mad about that. Uh, I took them off early in the morning because I was doing the, uh, um, aerobics festival, so I was sort of just checking out on him and I accidentally took them off. And he's still mad, um, like, 11 hours later? No, that's not right. 6 to... Okay, 6 to... 8 p.m. is 14 hours. Got it. I think. Um, so today we want to actually show something a little bit special. So, first of all, I need to actually do this. Not sure if you could actually hear that, but if you have a Game Boy connected, you can actually meet Cap'n. Hi there, matey. Do you care to ride me both to the island? Yes, I'll cross. So there, matey, what were that island you wanted to visit? Um, uh, This is another naming thing. I don't think the amount of space is any different. So... Nope. <laughs> Dang it. So... Huh. Shows another space, actually. Wow, it's not even looking to me do it this- Oh, there we go. It's the same name as the town, just for the sake of convenience. And Captain will actually sing for us. So I'm off for a bound for Farhaven Island, off to the briny sea. Now listen to me, Shanty of Love and Loss. Alright, say there, you little wide eyed sea puppy, you've been working out. <laughs> And we're at the island. That didn't take too long. And New Leaf, you can actually skip that, but... Uh, I think it cheats you out if you skip it. I don't quite remember though, it's been a long time since I've actually gone to the island in New Leaf. Just no reason to. Far Haven Island, ho! Oh, well now, that was some bumpy ride, would you say? I almost lost me vittles. I don't even know what vittles are. Now you can turn off the game, your Game Boy Advance if you feel like doing so. Me, I don't give a squid. Well, since these do run on double A's, I am actually going to turn it off. But, we are on the island. Uh, I've been waiting to show this for a sort of an empty day to show this off, and this end ended up being the first in a while. So this is actually interesting for several reasons. The island has its own flag, which you can decorate. This is the only place where you can get coconuts. Unfortunately, I can't plant these. I'll explain why once we get back to the town. And you got no map. Well, you don't need a map, to be fair. Because it's a very small little island. I think it's only two screens. So, yeah. In any case, you get this separate little house, home away from home, that you can decorate to your heart's content. Uh, wrong button. I thought it was the right, but it's actually this one on the left. So again, you can just... I don't know if you can actually change the floor. Um, that would actually be something to look up, but you can decorate it, so that's really cool. And oddly enough, it uses the cabin theme, not the cabana theme. Though the cabana theme might have been introduced later, I, I don't quite actually remember. Cabana might have been introduced in Wild World. Wow, empty house. How do you survive out here? Yeah, what's going down? Oh wait. Who are you? Huh? Deep. Pig leg. Gotta say it, it's been killer. Mean you are. But when it gets so dark out, something I can do for you? Know anything about a melon chair? I've been looking for one of those. I'm dying to plunk that thing in my room and sit back. Just be like, ah, now that looks good. If I get in my room, there's a pale shadow of what it could be. Someone's gotta have one of those things. 
So that's something to keep in mind if we ever remember, and if we ever get a melon share, to be honest. Um, but the island doesn't really offer a whole lot in this game. Um, big thing is just coconuts, but again, we can't. And new, not new leaf, and the second version, well, this is the second version. In the third version of the original Animal Crossing at Dobutsu no Mori E+, you can actually catch things like a, a boardwing butterfly, which became a standard bug later on, but in this game, it was, in that game it was exclusive to the island, and it's not even in this version. As far as I'm aware, there aren't actually any exclusive bugs or fish on this island, only in the Japanese version. Other than that, there's not really much to do in the island, other than his que request for a chair. Um, also, I'm not sure if Pig Leg is actually in the other games. Some of the villagers do actually make it to the wild world, but I don't think Pig Leg is one. I think I would remember him, to be honest. Um, but this is kind of a nice little, little home away from home. If you ever need to stash items, you can just drop stuff on the island, so that's one advantage. Unlike in New Leaf, you cannot pocket the flowers, so you can't take the flowers back to town with you. And again, lack of exclusive bugs and fish do definitely detract from the value. Uh, and I think New Leaf has a couple too. So yeah, in the Japanese version, the Butsu no Mori E+, and in New Leaf, there are exclusives. But in this version, there aren't any. Uh, what else what can I say about the island? Okay, so we've gone over the basics of the island. Tired of it out here already, so you have a desire to return? Sure. I mean, yes, maybe you want to take a record over Far Haven Island with you in your Game Boy Advance? If you do, then turn on the power. So basically, what this means is you can actually have a, albeit very graphically scaled down, version of the island on your Game Boy and interact with the villager on the island. I think you can get them to like dig up bells and other items and stuff and for you to find when you come back to the main island. But I have no way to really show that unless I hook up a Wii which barely works to the GameCube with a Game Boy player. It would be really confusing though, so I'm not actually going to do that. Because it would be such a technical feat to try to get it to run, pretty much. So we're just going to head back to town. Off we go, and in this version, you cannot skip the songs. He's on me like a plague from the deep dark deeps. I need fruit. And we're back. And a uh, new leaf, I should also point out he actually has a motor boat. So he's gone up in the world. Um in City Folk, and uh, in City Folk, he drives, I think, a bus? Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, and in uh, Wild World, he drives a taxi, and he's sort of basically the startup character. Like, in Wild World, he's the first character you actually interact with, um, which is interesting. Now, he did say, wait, we actually, no, I did that off screen, never mind. Or did I? Did I remember to do that? Um, well, I should probably check. Nope. I must have done that off screen. You don't even have visible fingers. How can you be asking about nails? Now she's happy at least. That's something. So I said off screen, not off screen, I said on the island that I will not be planting these coconuts because of a reason we get into when we get back to town. Uh, one more. Up. Well, the reason being... 
off screen, I, I actually exceeded the limit and actually had to cut down a tree to get it to be perfect. So this is the second day of it being perfect. So, so that's just something really to keep in mind. Um, so once you go two weeks with the perfect hand, you'll get the golden axe. Um, if the LP is still going by that point, then we'll show that, but I'm not sure if it will be, or if we'll call it quits a little bit early. Like, maybe once we've got a full, like, 31 days, maybe we could have the finale and then just pop in every once in a while. That was one way I was thinking about handling this project once we get past, because we've gotten past a lot of the big stuff, I guess you could say. Uh, Carpet Sale, we always showed that. Um, this is actually a thing that happens in this game. So a lot of times villagers won't actually understand your letters. Um, a lot of times you can write really, like, simple stuff and they still won't get it. So that doesn't really make sense. Like with Butch, I just basically said I have an extra raffle ticket. Here, here you go. It's basically what I wrote. So, and he was like, what the heck are you talking about? So yeah, sometimes the letter system and the responses tends to be a little bit murfed for lack of a better word murfed so that is something to keep in mind when writing letters you want to keep them very simple uh like one guy like one of the villagers i read basically like oh hey e3 was cool right and then he was, he was totally fine with the letter but other letters just like were like how are you it's like i don't know what you're trying to say to me so so yeah weird ai when it comes to writing letters so, yeah, I don't know what to tell you about it. Just basically, don't try to confuse them. Question mark. And also, always include presents. That generally makes them like the present, like these shirts, better. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to actually do this one song. Um, I think it was like just like this, but this one might actually be in one of the later games. I don't remember if it was in this game or in one of the future ones, but we'll have to just find out, shall we? What gives, man? Where'd you pick up on that song? It's one of my secret riffs. No damage. I'm cool. I'll play it for you. And normal dialogue from here on out. So there are three songs in this game that do not come up when you select random. Uh, 
or like whatever the random option is called in this game. I don't actually remember what it was called by name. But yeah, there are three songs that come up by random. That I mean that don't come up by random. One that we just listened to. Um two days ago, which I'm confusing with another song, actually. I was like, which is actually, I was gonna say it was like one that actually st that stands out to me, but it actually doesn't because I was confusing it with a different song. And also KK's song, which is actually Tataka's song. Uh, so those are the unique ones that you have to actually request. I don't know how you were expected to know this originally. Probably it was a way to sell Nintendo Power Guides, if my hunch is correct. In any case, that's all for today, so thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Animal Crossing for the GameCube.